welcome to our channel imesh so uh, today we have a fantastic topic on kubernetes ingress uh, versus istio gateway there has been a little bit confusion around the community uh, most most of the cloud engineers platform engineers um, they try to understand which particular ingress gateway uh, to use in their ecosystem especially when they are using multi cloud applications and multi cluster applications so uh, our uh, speaker of this topic is uh, 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 mohammed ajman he is a founding engineer at imesh he has he has years of experience of building cloud native applications and saas based applications uh, and uh, where he has developed an uh, applications and deployed into uh, multiple clouds so a uh, bit of housekeeping rules we'll record this conversation this uh, um, uh, this discussion and we'll also upload in our youtube channel all right so before we get started uh, a bit about imesh uh, we formed imesh in 2023 basically we moved out of steel mode um uh, with a, we started imesh with a simple mission to Uh, solve the problem of uh, growing complexity of network in microservices which are hosted in the cloud so now that microservices are do getting deployed into a hybrid infrastructure there can be cloud there can be on prem virtual machines or there can be containers there can be server serverless uh, um, you know services by aws like a lambda so we wanted to kind of solve the whole networking problem as of today we have two uh, offerings the first one is enterprise istio support where we provide enterprise support uh, for open source istio service mesh and uh, on by proxy uh, so if someone wants to uh, implement istio in their production they can reach out to us we also provide a proprietary visibility layer which helps to adopt istio code quite easily and quickly in the ecosystem so with that i'll just let uh, ajmal to continue the conversation on the topic kubernetes uh, ingress versus istio ingress gateway over to you thank ajmal. you so much devashri hi guys i am ajmal so today we'll be discussing about kubernetes ingress and uh, istio gateway so agenda is quite simple we'll start by understanding what is kubernetes ingress gateway and what are its features what are the limitations of kubernetes ingress which is why uh you know we are motivated towards understanding what istio gateway is what how uh, what all features it provides and the limitations of istio gateway as well so let's jump into uh, what is kubernetes ingress gateway so kubernetes ingress is an api object that manages external access to services in a cluster typically http and it also provides load balancing and ssl termination so that is the bookish definition on a simple term if you can understand since you are having a kubernetes cluster and uh, there are different services interacting themselves within the cluster you need an entry point for the external request to come in that is where kubernetes gateway comes into picture so we'll be using ingress gateway to expose our cluster so that the internet can simply access it and they can send request to it and the reason why we do is and what's the uh, uh, kind of like the core features of the kubernetes ingress gateway is that it is integrated into kubernetes only right it comes out of the box with kubernetes and uh, there is no other special components required or any prerequisites there uh, other than a few things which we will discuss it supports basic load balancing routing capabilities that you can expect from a gateway it is easy to set up and uh, since it comes with kubernetes you will kind of have the understanding of the ecosystem as well which is why it's very uh, you know easy to integrate config map secrets all those things with the kubernetes ingress gateway and use it and it can be even supplemented with the third party packages as well so uh, but even after all these things it uh, has quite a few limitations which is basically why you would want to find a better alternative to it first it operates only in the l7 application layer and uh, that is where it has the the capabilities are quite uh, you know shortened for you you don't have a large ecosystem of uh, services to choose from because it's only at l7 and it also provides mtls but it comes with a lot of pain trust me and uh, when we go towards traffic management and routing it is also very uh, uh, weak at that in the sense that it's not very powerful as compared to any other gateway that you would have looked in the market 
and it is also having restrictions in a lot of observability and telemetry you will probably end up you know using the kubernetes api only to gather the telemetry data which may not be enough for you and uh, it definitely lacks a lot of security features and all uh, in it right so this is where istio comes into picture and uh, what exactly is an istio ingress and the istio ingress gateway so it operates not only at an l7 layer unlike the kubernetes one which we just saw it also operates at l4 layer to manage you know traffic in your cloud native application okay and uh, istio gateway is also support tcp http as grpc your custom raw tcp protocols whatever you have written it can you you can basically go nuts with this one and the reason why it's able to do is if you can focus in the architecture diagram here we all know that istio service mesh uses envoy proxy uh, you know as a sidecar deployment with the services to communicate within themselves so istio gateway since it is provided directly by istio it uses virtual services and destination role which is very pluggable in nature which makes it kind of the l4 uh, you know gateway as well whenever you are exposing an istio ingress gateway the client is accessing it that request doesn't go to the service directly what it does it basically takes the request and passes it to the sidecar envoy proxy and this envoy proxy is powerful and that is where your all the virtual services destination rules get evaluated and then the request goes to the service so if you want a lot of restrictions if you want Uh, to do crazy stuff with envoy proxy you can and this gateway will help you do that but on the other hand if you look at the kubernetes ingress gateway once you expose it it directly goes to the service the request doesn't pass through the envoy proxy which is where we miss out all the cool stuff of the service mesh and we are directly going into the services so a lot of stuff that you, you know all the things that we have kind of outsourced to envoy proxy to verify to check and all those things whether it is security monitoring telemetry data all those things are not coming in the loop when you are using kubernetes ingress gate and that is why there are quite a few advantages if you use istio gateway and it is true because that's all what we can cover in this video uh, this can go uh, you know long if you simply sit and talk about why istio gateway is so powerful the reason why it is more powerful is because of its advanced traffic management and routing capabilities you can think that rate limiting cir circuit breaking failover are one of the very basic things for an api gateway but they are very easy to set up in an istio system because you are using istio you are using envoy you just write virtual services and destination rules and you're done with it as easy as that it pro it provides also strong out of the box security remember the mtls which was painful in kubernetes yeah here it comes out of the box and even with access control and a lot of other features it offers an extensive range of telemetry and observability options and uh, this can be uh, you can use prometheus for that you can use grafana jaeger zipkin i mean even if you have any third party telemetry tool that supports these general formats you can even use that with istio and not only that when it comes towards load balancing and supported protocols it not only has a normal round robin load balancing process you can go crazy with it as well you can have multiple load balancing technique used you can use it to do canary releases you can do uh, you can use http termination secure cell all those things are provided here so that is one of the key advantages of istio gateway okay and let's jump into the demo let's understand how these two things function uh, uh, you know with each other so here i have uh, it's a very simple kubernetes setup if i simply see what we have in our namespace uh so in parts we are having http bin we will be using http bin to understand how this functions let me describe everything and we'll be jumping into the configuration soon to understand what all things it is doing it's just running http bin and uh, this namespace is running with istio so that's why you can see there are uh, two pods running which one is the envoy sidecar obviously and there is a service which exposes the http bin and there are few deployments and only one replica set for it if we go to the configuration Uh, in deployment, I'm simply getting the HTTP bin uh, uh, image and specifying the port number, which is port eighty. And in this service, which is named here as HTTP bin hyphen service, just selecting the app and it is exposing the target port, which is port number eighty. Very simple setup. Now let's move to the Kubernetes ingress gateway first. Now, when you look at this, the configuration itself, uh, it's using the kind as ingress. It's one of the ingress types. 
and we are uh, giving the name as HTTP in English. And one thing to understand here is that to do a lot of things in Kubernetes, you'll have to use annotations. And that is one of the limitations of it, uh, which is directly visible from here, because uh, if you are using annotations, the flexibility isn't that much. You need to do a lot of annotations. Sometimes you would also need to modify your deployments if you want to use some specific configuration with the annotation. So it kind of makes it more complex. Right now I'm using, uh, 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 in this spec, you can see we are using the Nginx controller. And that is the one which I'm using for the Kubernetes one. And with Istio, we all know it's uh, uh, the Envoy proxy which is being used. And the routing rule is pretty simple. Whatever request is coming to the slash path, just take and uh, you know take that request to HTTP bin service. Now let's see this in action. And if you're deploying it in your own cluster, you might want to see uh, uh, what is the external IP for your you know ingress controller? And since I'm using Nginx, so it is in this namespace. Yeah, we have the external IP. Let's jump to Postman. And uh, yeah. So here you can see it's a simple setup. Since we are using HTTP bin, I've just passed some parameter A, B, C, E, and B, C, D. And if I hit send, it's giving me back uh, all the requests. This is what HTTP bin does. It basically echoes whatever your HTTP request is, right? So pretty simple. You can you know just try it out here. So yeah, this is one of the basic things that you can achieve with uh, Kubernetes. And I know in any production level application, this is not just what you want. So let's jump to Istio and look at its configuration and all. So you see, defining the Istio gateway is pretty simple. We just use the gateway kind of object uh, and uh, uh, we give it a name. And here it is HTTP bin Istio ingress gateway. The selector here, unlike the uh, you know ingress class that we had in Kubernetes, the selector here is specifying that it is going to use Istio's ingress gateway. And it is using port number 80 for uh, uh, you know just exposing it, right? But the key thing, the one, uh, the advantages that we have uh, talked about uh, so much about Istio Ingress, that comes here because we are using a virtual service. Now, if you look at the virtual service, it's simple. It's uh, we we're just giving it a name. We are giving it a host, and we are saying which gateway to use. In this case, it is just the gateway which I defined here. But you can see the HTTP one here. We are doing few things. So we are also making the matching roles that uh, matching rules that is saying that if your URI is having prefix star and in your headers, if you had an header of X password, which is set to password, the routing rule will anyway will take you to this destination. But if you have these things matching, it will also give you the information. Uh, it will add basically a few headers to your uh, request and it will also add a few headers to your response. Now, this can be a very simple application to look at, but you can see the possibilities are endless. You can use these kind of things to, uh, you know, just if, if a header is having something, take the request to some other destination as well. If you're using some kind of like a sensitive header that needs to be verified first, and then uh, you need to send some information, you can do that here as well. You can even mess with the raw TCP request body. Just think of it, what, what all you can do with here. Now let's see uh, it in action. So right now I'm going to Postman and yeah, we also need the external IP for this one. And since we are using uh, the Kubernetes, uh, sorry, Istio uh, uh, kind of the ingress gateway, let's look at whatever we have in the Istio system. So we are already getting uh, the Istio ingress gateway here out of the box. And this is the external IP for it. This is the one which we are using. Let's jump into Postman and uh, so remember that header check, let's disable it for now. Keep things simple, just making a simple get request in the body and I'm hitting send, right? So yeah, pretty standard, whatever we have seen, we are getting a lot of headers here and there, we are getting a some headers here, but the headers, the custom headers that I said, they are not appearing here because I'm not adding the passwords yet. Basically the password header, you can extend it as an only link. So right now I'm just enabling this. It means that this request will also have the X password. Notice that. When, I, when this was echoed, I didn't have an X password here as well. And just to you know have something, let's write some random params. Okay. And hit send here. Okay. So now you can see that in the arguments we have this, whatever we have, the X password header is also present here, but we also get the hello request header, which we had added here in the configuration. Right. And if you look at the response header as well, we are getting a hello response header which is basically the custom header, 
Now just think think of what all you can do with these core features such that Istio provides out of the box, right? And this is the reason why Istio is quite popular. And even with the configuration, you can see that uh, we are using virtual services and all. There is a slight limitation to it, like everything has. That is, you need Istio service mesh running. And if you are using a production setup application, then you need Istio. I would urge you to use Istio service mesh. Uh, you'll thank me later. And you need to understand what are the custom CRDs provided by Istio so you can write them. And uh, you know you can do a lot of things with it, but that time spent learning that or that time spent understanding it is is going to pay you off in you know in ways you cannot even imagine. And it's pretty easy, I hope, for for someone also who has never seen an Istio configuration. If you just read it through, I think you'll have an understanding of what it is doing. So it's quite easy to get your hands uh, you know dirty with Istio, or I will I can say that your cluster cleaned with Istio. So uh, yeah, definitely do give it a try. So these are the few advantages uh, of Istio that we can see. And to sum it up, whenever you need something basic that is just for testing and all, and if you have a very small scale application, Kubernetes gateway should be enough for you. But again, if if that's not uh, what you are doing, and you are building something specific that needs security standards and you know, it needs scalability, high availability, which I think every production application requires, then adapting Istio service mesh is one of the uh, good way to do it. And if you're having Istio service mesh already and you're not using Istio gateway, uh, you're missing out on a lot of things. So uh, yeah, that's, that's all that I can say. Thank you. All right, so thank you, Asmal. Thanks a lot you know, for uh... Uh, taking us through the topic. I think right now the uh, difference between the Kubernetes ingress, Istio ingress will be clear uh, for most of the cloud pl platform teams out there. Absolutely. So, uh, uh, thank you. If uh, someone wants to use uh, Istio, it can be a little bit learning curve. Obviously, it's a, a very big application with a lot of uh, features which um, uh, opens up a door uh, for abstracting the ne network and managing the security at both global and uh, local uh, places in the in a organization. So if someone wants to use uh, Istio, then uh, they can contact us, iMesh, uh, for a demo or for a free pilot. We can help uh, organizations with, uh, um, first of all, providing consulting, uh, you know, how Istio can be beneficial for them. What are the different use cases? What will be in a, 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 the cost of uh, using Istio in a, in a per year, or uh, given the, all the microservices and the infrastructure in an environment, we can help uh, unlock the risk estimation, the time and cost estimation for them, and simultaneously we can also help them uh, charter the journey with Istio. So please feel free to uh, book a demo with us um, by uh, sending us an email at contact at the ims.ai. Or you can simply uh, just go to our website and contact us by filling up the form. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And uh, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel so that you get regular updates on the Istio uh, service list. All right. Have a wonderful day.